your Pokemon. In this course, I'll teach you all about the basics of the game. Now then, what shall we start with? Alrighty, I guess we better start off learning how to move. Go ahead and try moving your Pokémon. You can use the plus control pad to move around the field. You can also jump with the B button. If you press in the same direction twice on the plus control pad, you can step forward and back or side to side. Okay, let's move on. Next up, we'll learn how to attack. Press this button to use long distance attacks. Long distance attacks are called ranged attacks. Try to land a few ranged attacks. Launch an attack that'll chase down your opponent. There you go. Now you're getting it. Alrighty then. Now here's the important part. All battles consist of two states, field phase and dual phase. At the start of the battle, where we are right now, is field phase. And this is dual phase. You can tell which phase you're in by checking here. Now then, how do you go about changing phases? Well, you see, if you land a certain type of attack, you'll shift phases. Let's check out this demonstration. Alrighty, now try to shift to dual phase. Try to hit your opponent with this attack. Now you've changed the phase. In dual phase, you can dish up some serious damage. But close quarter combat is risky too. Here's where the real battle goes down. But you'll need to be careful. The way you move around differs a bit from field phase. Let's practice moving around in dual phase. By pressing forward twice on the plus control pad, you can perform a forward dash step. By pressing back twice on the plus control pad, you can perform a backward dash step. You can jump using the B button. In dual phase, the action is highly varied. Alright, that should be good. Land a certain attack on your opponent, and you'll shift from dual phase back to field phase. You can also just land a bunch of hits and... Send them flying back into field phase like this. Someone with wits like yours has probably already figured this out, but battles will involve shifting back and forth between field phase and dual phase. Plus, when you cause a phase shift, you'll get a nice little bonus. 
And by that, I mean you'll fill up your synergy gauge. can block by pressing the R button. By blocking, you can all but completely defend against your opponent's attack. Alrighty, let's try to block an attack. Just hold down the R button and you'll be fine. Just press the R button. Don't forget. All right. Keep an eye right here on the screen. This is your synergy gauge. Your synergy gauge will fill up as you land or take hits. Once your synergy gauge is full, try pressing the L and R buttons together. Your Pokémon use its Synergy Burst. Your Pokémon will be super-powered while it's in Synergy Burst. Wreak Havoc with Synergy Burst. You can use a Burst Attack once during every Synergy Burst. Try using a Burst Attack. In this course, I'll tell you all you need to know about battles and teach you some techniques you can put to use right away. Press this to perform a long distance attack aimed forward. It's great because you can use these attacks to shift into dual phase, even from a distance. This is what you'll want to strive for in field phase. Try to land a few forward range attacks. button while jumping in field phase and land. Try to land the jump attack. There you go. Now you're getting it. During dual phase, if you land a hit with the Y button, press the Y button rapidly. Land consecutive hits to get a combo. This is what we call a Poke Combo. Land a Poke Combo. While you're still getting the hang of battles, make sure to shoot for lots of Poke Combos. A counter-attack absorbs an incoming attack and quickly dishes out a counter-blow. Time it just right, and you'll be able to strike back at your opponent. You can use counter-attacks in both field phase and dual phase.
Try to counter your opponent's attack. to your opponent and land blow after blow. That's what grab attacks are all about. By using grab attacks, you can break through your opponent's block. On top of that, grab attacks are always super effective against counter attacks. said, they're not very effective against normal attacks. Use a grab attack on your opponent. Okay! Counter attacks beat normal attacks. Grab attacks, beat counter attacks. And normal attacks, beat grab attacks. Basically, this attack triangle is like a fancy game of rock, paper, scissors. Trainers who master this attack triangle will take control of the battle. Probably. This thing over here is called the support gauge. Your support gauge will fill up as time passes. And once your support gauge is full, Press the pull button and try calling in a support Pokemon. It'll come in and use one of its Pokemon moves to help you out. Time before each round, you can switch out the support Pokemon you want to use. You can choose which support Pokemon you want to use from your active support set. You can select a support Pokemon that suits your battle strategy. Or maybe even select a support Pokemon that'll help you out against a particular opponent. Support Pokemon come in three different types, Attack, Disrupt, and Enhance. Attack type support Pokemon come in handy when you want to deal out damage and push your opponent back. Disrupt type support Pokemon typically swoop in to block your opponent's movements. Sometimes they can even counter your opponent's attacks. Enhance type support Pokemon will power up your Pokemon or heal some of your HP, things like that. Pick a support Pokemon that suits your playstyle, and be sure to use it when the time's right. Sometimes when you use support Pokemon, your battle Pokemon will receive a status. First things first, positive statuses. While you're under the effect, of a positive status, you'll get some sort of advantage. For instance, Eevee will give you a positive status that grants you a temporary increase to your attack. The effect depends on the support Pokemon, but things will be in your favor while you have a positive status. Next up, 
we have negative statuses. Get hit with a negative status and you'll temporarily be at a disadvantage. Take Emolga, for example. He'll hit you with an attack that temporarily reduces your speed. Use these statuses to your advantage to get a lead in battle. Between rounds, I'll drop in to cheer you on. Depending on whether you win or lose a round, your support gauge or your synergy gauge may get a boost. There are several types of cheering you might receive. There are cheer skills that are in effect from first round, as well as those with special effects. Be sure to test out any new cheer skills you get. Sometimes during field phase, you'll find power scattered around. You can pick up this power to fill up your synergy gauge. Power on the field will disappear if you don't pick it up after a certain amount of time. Go ahead and pick up the power that appears on the field. can really change depending on where the power appears on the field. Now, let me tell you a bit about each battle Pokemon's recommended actions. Why don't you try this out? In this course, I'll teach you a few techniques that should help you out in battle. During dual phase, press down on the plus control pad to enter into a low stance. While in low stance, press the Y button to use a quick attack. Press the X button while in low stance to use an attack to knock down your opponent. Land an attack from low stance. It doesn't matter what kind. By pressing up on the plus control pad, your Pokemon will take a high stance. 
by pressing the Y button in a high stance, you can perform an intercepting attack on an airborne opponent. In a high stance, you can press the X button to use an attack that will parry low to the ground attacks. You can hold down the button to charge up your counterattack. It'll take some time to charge, but you'll deal more damage and you'll also get the combo for managing to land a hit. By charging up your counterattack, you can increase the amount of time you can ward off your opponent's attacks. Try to charge up a counterattack. <laughs> During a counterattack, use the plus control pad and the R button to cancel and move into a step. No! <laughs> This is simply called a cancel. You can use counterattacks to deflect your opponent's attacks and then cancel. <laughs> Try to cancel a counterattack. Piercing attacks are special moves that cannot be blocked by counterattacks. For example, counterattacks with a fully charged hold become piercing attacks. Your best bet with counterattacks is to take the initiative and get the first move in. In the field phase, you can also hold the last hit of a holding attack to make it a piercing attack. Your Pokemon won't take any hits while knocked down. And it'll get back up on its own, too. But this will give your opponent the chance to move in for an attack, so you'll need to be careful. Depending on the attack, you may take some damage regardless of whether you have your block up or not. This is called block damage. But you'll never be KO'd by block damage. No! If you keep blocking against an attack, you'll notice that the block will start to turn red. If you don't release it, you'll eventually get hit with guard break. When you're hit with a guard break, You'll be left momentarily defenseless. How many attacks you can endure before getting hit with the guard break depends on the Pokemon. Blocking is important, there's no doubt about it. But try not to get hit with a guard break. While in Synergy Burst, you won't be stunned from taking a few small hits. So you can move in for the attack without worrying about your opponent's ranged attacks one bit. Try to hit an opponent using a ranged attack with a homing attack. Keep it up. 
when your opponent uses their synergy burst, you'll want to try use the X button for strong attacks to stun them. Or grab attack to try to stop them from getting in any- <laughs> Link up one attack with the next. This is what we call a combo. Let's try to land a simple combo. on one attack at a time. Aha, uh -huh, that was perfect. You don't have to master high level combos right away, but it might be fun to try things out once you get the hang of battling. I'm sure you've already noticed that battle Pokemon all have different amounts of HP, right? On top of that, how quickly the synergy gauge fills up and how long a synergy burst lasts also differ from one Pokemon to the next. Crazy, right? There are all sorts of different battle stages, and the battle arenas themselves vary slightly in shape and size. Battle Pokemon all have their strengths and weaknesses, and you'll have to be ready to switch up your fighting style from time to time. As you battle, your Pokémon will increase its skill level. As you increase your skill level, you can apply as your skill. Remember, you Tutorial. Pokemon are you battling with? If you hold the last hit of a homing attack, it will cause your opponent to guard break. When a guard break occurs in field phase, it will cause a phase shift. Use a charged up homing attack. When you're up against an opponent with a tough block, charge up a homing attack to shake them up. Dual phase, there are actions you can use that quick. <laughs> this is also a type of cancel. By using cancel and try to cancel this. <laughs> Your opponent had pinned you down with repeated range attacks. In times like these, you should try jumping to ward off their attack. If your opponent is close enough when you jump, you can strike back during the opening in their ranged attack. If you find timing your jumps right to be too tricky, you can always try a block and try to... Range attacks can be a real pain, huh? The way they chase back to you like that. It's times like these you can use a step technique to negate their homing ability. Use some well-timed steps to avoid an incoming ranged attack. Nicely 
done. During dual phase, when your opponent launches a powerful attack while jumping, you can use anti-air actions to effectively intercept their attack. When in a high stance, use the Y button while in a high stance to intercept an incoming jump attack. There you go. Now you're getting it. If you block against an attack that leaves a big opening, it will give you the chance to strike back. If you launch your attack fast enough, the opponent will be left unable to block a it off, and you're guaranteed to deal some damage. Block against your opponent's incoming attack and swiftly strike back. By knocking your opponent's battle Pokémon into the wall, you'll leave them open by effectively using the walls. You can unleash some actions that normally only knock down your opponent and deal some... Try to land some wall... Which Pokemon are you battling with? In close combat, it's important to understand what the situation will be like after each attack. For instance, after you land one of your moves, you usually have a small window of time where you can move while your opponent is still stunned. Which means you can move in for another attack. On the other hand, if your opponent uses a block against you, they'll be able to make their next move before you can. Your best bet in such situations is to keep your cool and just use a block. It might also be a good idea to try to pull off a counterattack. Also, when your attack misses its mark, you'll be left completely open to your opponent. So make sure to try to only use attacks at a distance you know will hit your opponent. If you're pressed up against the wall when a phase shift from dual phase to field phase occurs, You'll be blasted off the walls like this. You'll take some damage when this happens, but I guess if you think of it as your chance to break away from the wall and reposition yourself, it doesn't really seem so bad. If it gets launched by a powerful attack, your Pokémon will automatically perform a mid-air recovery. <laughs> After a mid-air recovery, it will be temporarily invulnerable to attacks. Press forward on the plus control pad when this happens, and you can change the direction of its mid-air <laughs> While you're falling back down, you can also use the plus control pad to slightly change the direction of your fall. <laughs> When two ranged attacks collide, the stronger of the two may completely negate the other.
If both are at about the same level, they will cancel each other out. When you know you can't beat your opponent in a clash of ranged attacks, it's best to just block or jump to dodge those attacks. You know, you can actually recover some of the damage you take. You can recover this recoverable HP by causing a phase shift. You can also recover the recoverable HP by using Synergy Burst or via the F Don't forget that during Synergy Burst, you will gradually recover your recoverable HP. Keep in mind that you can also lose recoverable HP. If your opponent causes a phase shift while you're in field phase, you'll lose some of your recoverable HP. If you attack while jumping, such as by pressing the X button while in high stance, You'll be able to launch your attacks while avoiding low ground level attacks. In that same style, anti air actions will easily win over higher placed attacks. No matter which case, the point is that both, when matched up, will have the unilateral advantage over the other. I'm sure I've already told you how battle stages come in all sorts. The terms that determine how synergy power appears differ between battle arenas.